This is my charging cable for my plug-in hybrid car. I set up the charging schedule to charge during off-peak hours. Of course, in urgent situation, I can charge my car whenever I want. What are the advantages of a plug-in hybrid car? I am Heian. Let's start with the definitions. The conventional vehicles use a gasoline or diesel-powered engine emitting greenhouse gas and harmful pollutants. Harmful pollutant. Hybrid electric vehicles are similar with regular gasoline-powered conventional cars while recharging its batteries through regenerative braking. Fuel efficiency is higher than conventional vehicles. Therefore, hybrid cars produce less greenhouse gas and harmful pollutants than conventional cars. Hybrid cars do not need to be plugged in. All electric vehicles, also known as EVs, don't use any gasoline and are solely powered by electricity. They also don't emit any tailpipe emissions. Driving ranges for EVs are around 320 miles. Plug-in hybrid electric vehicles, also known as PHEVs, use batteries to power an electric motor and fossil fuel to power the internal combustion engine. Driving ranges for PHEVs are up to 40 miles by electricity with no emissions and about 600 miles by gasoline, but with emissions. Having said that, I will explain how I arrived at my decision. EVs and PHEVs have zero tailpipe emissions when using electricity. These cars can contribute to the reductions in both greenhouse gas emissions and harmful pollutants compared to a gasoline vehicle. From the reduction of these pollutants, public health, especially for children and the elderly, can get direct benefit. My plug-in hybrid car has a battery-only range of 26 miles before the gas kicks in. I drive less than 22 miles a day, allowing me to drive solely on electricity without burning a single drop of gasoline. Therefore, unless I'm going on a long road trip, I don't need to fill up the gas tank at all. Even when the battery is depleted, it offers 51 mpg in the city using gasoline. Compared with a conventional car, I saved about $700 in gas and electricity per year for driving 12,000 miles. It costs about half as much to drive an electric vehicle. Compared with the gas vehicle, the electric car is quieter. Therefore, driving experience is very quiet and comfortable. I just needed to be careful for the safety of pedestrians as they might not be aware when I pass by them with slow speed. Even though PHEVs need the same routine maintenance as gas vehicles, the engine and its parts are used less, so there is less strain on the engine and less routine maintenance. All electric vehicles require less maintenance than conventional vehicles because there are usually fewer fluids to change and far less moving parts. I like the specification of Kia Niro, but at that moment, there was no all-electric version. And the plug-in hybrid electric version turned out to fit in my budget. Also, I liked the 600 miles with full tank too because I had range anxiety. Fortunately for the future buyer, the price of the EVs is getting affordable and the number of EVs charging stations is also increasing. 
So, range anxiety is a lesser factor. After leasing the car, I got a tax rebate and a clean fuel reward program check as a bonus. Based on your region and income, there are some incentives. Check it out the link below. I'm very satisfied with my decision. Whenever I drive, I feel good because my car doesn't emit any harmful pollutant. And driving PHEVs is fun and comfortable. Depending on how much renewable sources to generate electricity are used, EVs emission benefit can be increased. Renewable sources differ from region to region. There is a useful site I'd like you to see that shows you the different sources by state in the US and the effect on the emissions of electric vehicles. Search for emission from EV. Click on Alternative Fuel Data Center at energy.gov. Choose a state for example, California. You can see that 50% of the source of electricity is renewable. All electric vehicles have the least emissions. The second least is PHEV. Let's see the most coal burning state, West Virginia. In contrast, hybrid cars have less emission than all electric cars. Hybrid cars, which use solely gasoline efficiently, produce the least emission. Vermont is the most renewable energy state. The state is generate almost 100% clean energy. Upstream energy for charging has zero emission. The Global Energy Statistical Yearbook is an online interactive data tool. It allows to browse data through intuitive maps and graphs for a visual analysis of the latest trends in the energy industry. If you are considering buying a car, I highly recommend you to choose electric or hybrid that fits your particular needs and budgets, depending on where you live in. You can check fueleconomy.gov website, which provides lots of information and tools to build up your decision. Thanks for watching. Bye.